And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Wintery mix for tonight turning much colder, but how long is it going to last? The answer on that coming up. We still do have that dense fog advisory. In fact, they have extended it to 9 o'clock now for Wapalo, Jefferson, and Henry counties. Visibilities are less than a quarter of a mile, so just be very careful out there. A gorgeous sunrise picture I want to share with you. Mike Griffin sent this to me. Absolutely picture perfect. Look at this. It does actually look like a painting or a picture, so thanks, Mike, for sending that in. We do have cloudy skies, some foggy conditions, especially across southeast Iowa, as well as just a little bit of activity, some light drizzle moving through Albia and into Wapalo County. Temperatures right now, 38 degrees. Winds are out of the west at 12 miles per hour at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Atomwell coming in with some light drizzle, 34 degrees, and we do have some foggy conditions Northwest winds 10 miles per hour, humidity levels at 100% and the dew point at 34. So big changes in the snow forecast as we're heading into tomorrow. Uh, the track of that storm system has actually pushed more south and east which is actually helping us. It is going to be bringing us less snow, practically uh, nothing uh, at all across the area. Maybe a trace, I would say maybe less than a half an inch to a dusting at the best across southeast Iowa and northeast Missouri. We still do have a chance for a wintry mix for tonight and as we're heading into early tomorrow morning, those clouds will continue to stay with us as we're heading throughout the day on Saturday. But here's that storm system. So again, if you are traveling, I'd say to Columbia to St. Louis area, you will be running into some snow. Those clouds will continue to clear as we're heading into the overnight hours and into the evening, starting out into the evening and that's going to bring down this cold uh, air from the north and that's really going to affect our temperatures late tomorrow night and into Sunday. We're actually dipping down into the single digits tomorrow night. Wind chills are going to be below zero. So again, it's going to be very frigid out there tomorrow night and into Sunday. So bring those pets indoors if you can. If not, make sure that they have some place to get out of this cold air. And this is going to be sticking around with this for a few days as we're heading into Sunday, even into Monday and Tuesday. We'll rebound just a little bit, but we're still going to be well below normal for this time of year, which our average is about 31 degrees. So what we can expect for tonight, temperature-wise, about 25 degrees. Again, still some foggy conditions across the area. A northwest winds 5 to 15 with a wintry mix. Looking ahead for your Saturday, temperatures about 25 degrees, falling into the upper teens by 5 o'clock. And those northwest winds gusting to 31 miles per hour. So again, it's going to feel much colder out there with those winds. And of course, we, got this, we do have the single digits for tomorrow night, 4 degrees as you're over night low. 14 as your high on Sunday. We will see a lot of sunshine though. Rebounding into the upper 20s on Monday. 18 on Tuesday. Upper 20s once again on Wednesday. Overnight lows. Single digits once again on Sunday night. And then into the teens and single digits on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Of course, anytime check us out 24-7 at ktvo.com. So again, the track of that storm system moved off to the south and to the east. Mm -hmm. So if you um, <laughs> if you like the snow, not good for you. But right. if you don't like the snow, good for you because uh, we're not getting <laughs> very much. Guess which ones I'm excited about. <laughs> I'm excited too because I'm not a snow person. I'm not so. too excited about this cold across the board uh, though. And neither That's am I, be. especially as we're dipping into four yeah. degrees tomorrow night. It's going to be a little on the tough side to take there, isn't it? It definitely, after uh, what we've been used to. Yeah, we're a little spoiled. Thanks, yes. Teresa.